we're starting to see uh, sales are starting to moderate. It's basically been a kind of gradual decline since the beginning of April, um, but they're still at very elevated levels versus you know what you would traditionally see in grocery. I mean, this um, 78% surge in second quarter earnings looks very strong. What is your ability then, given you've talked of that adjustment, to hold up uh, some of these numbers? Well, actually, our earnings in the second quarter were up 114%. Um, you're looking at a half-year number. So we definitely believe that there's good outlook for the rest of the year to maintain those earnings at a high level. We've increased our guidance. We're now expecting for the full year not just the mid-single-digit growth we thought at the beginning of the year pre-COVID, but it's now we're expecting 20 to 25%. And we've also increased our margin and our free cash flow guidance as well. Obviously, there are operational challenges as a result of the virus. I think we've talked to you uh, as a company about that over the, um, uh, the last quarter. But is that getting easier as we come to understand the, uh, um, the, the action that needs to be taken around stores to keep both your employees and customers safe? Yeah, well, when I look at the second quarter of performance, I mean, really, our associates have moved mountains to get us where we are. And it's something when we look at it, you know, our real focus is first and foremost on the safety, security of our customers, our associates, really looking at, you know, how do we make sure that we've got, um, you know, the labor requirements and everything that we need in store, and also that we're really servicing, you know, the communities that we work with. There's obviously um, uh, around the stimulus discussions at the moment a big question being asked as to uh, liability insurance. I wonder whether that has implications for how you have to think about running the business going forward. Well, I think when we look at our business going forward, you know, the real focus as we look at um, what are the costs associated with COVID in the second half are first and foremost around incremental labor and sick leave. Then we look at safety and security. Um, you know, we've had a, uh, also done a lot with associate rewards and charitable giving. So that's really been our focus so far. Mm. Uh, and what are you seeing in pricing? Um, there are some indications that we are seeing a, an uptick in food and pharma pricing in the United States. How's that being reflected in store? Well, there definitely has been inflation in the first and then accelerating in the second quarter. Um, the CPI data for our region is about 5% in the U.S. And if you look in Europe, it's more in the kind of 2 to 3% range. So it is higher. And that is one of the things that is important for us as, you know, really a responsible um, um, uh, grocer out there to make sure that um, we're being very cautious and thoughtful about how we um, pass this on to our consumers.